putting on my new Christmas robe that I got for Christmas and it's really awesome and it's got a hood on it that was really cool okay Merry Christmas you guys it is Christmas 8 wait it is Christmas it's officially 12.05 on Christmas Happy Christmas, happy Christmas. Um, okay, so. Here's this thing with me, because I haven't made a video since I've been home. I'm home. Um, yeah, it is so good to be home. Like, it's nice to be in my own room, with my own stuff, without people coming and interrupting me. So I should have been making more videos, but I... Like, I've had the time, but I haven't had the time, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. I'm really excited. Christmas is my favorite holiday. It's, like, my favorite time of year. Um, but there's one little thing that kind of sucks. I was scrunching my face up like that because I thought I was going to sneeze. And I might still sneeze, but... Um, the thing that sucks is there is no snow outside in Wisconsin on Christmas, which I don't remember the last time that happened. So, that's weird. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm home. I've been home since last Tuesday. Um, and I've seen some friends. I saw Liz. I made Liz. I think you guys probably know by now that Liz is kind of my best friend here. Um, not kind of. She is. Um, I made her this awesome gift. And I really want to show it to you guys. And I don't think she watches our videos, so I think we'll be okay. I made her this poster of all these pictures of us. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway. And I saw her. I've just been dealing with ex-boyfriend stuff and boy stuff and just murder. Um, but that doesn't matter right now because it is Christmas. <laughs> um, I want you guys to tell me all the stuff you get. Like I know Christmas isn't really about that, but it kind of is. Like who are we getting? Um, I, like I already said, got this Christmas robe pretty cool um and I got Christmas jammies and a book by David Sedaris and I'm expecting my John Green book soon um so lots of reading um I got oh my gosh I got all this cooking stuff like I'm really excited I don't know if, I think I told you guys that I really like to cook, and I love watching the Food Network, like, I'm a Food Network addict, and I got, like, a pasta maker where you, like, make your own pasta, like, stretch your own pasta and stuff. It's really professional and really awesome. And then I got, like, this stand mixer, like, this KitchenAid, like, fancy mixer like they have in restaurants and stuff. I'm really excited because it looks so cool and I'm going to be able to make all this stuff with it and I don't even care if it tastes good because I'll be making it so I'll be like, oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm really excited about it. And I got this, like, um, it's kind of like a food processor, but it, like, heats stuff up so you can make, like, soups and stuff in it. Yeah, so... Don't be surprised if there's a few videos entitled, Oh, Meg Cooks This. Yeah, because I'm really excited to cook things, and I think that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of break, is just cooking things. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Okay, now I'm going to answer my three questions that I proposed to the group. The first being, I wrote them down. The first being, what is my favorite part of Christmas or the holidays? Um, I have several favorite parts. First one being Christmas lights. I love Christmas lights. Like, I love them. I love them almost more than 
Jim, my husband, which is saying a lot, because I love him a lot. Anyway, um, but I love them so much. I think you guys know that I have some up in my dorm room. Usually, I have them going all along the ceiling in my room here, but I didn't get to because I was at school. Also, that was when my room used to be like pink and purple and like not little girlish, but you know. And so, yeah, adult room, no colored lights, so I just need to get white lights and put them all around. Um. And my mom, as a Christmas present to me, surprised me and she got lights on the outside of our house. They're really cool. Um, yeah, I was going to film a video of them, but they shut off on an automatic timer at 11.30 and it's already like 12.11, so it's Christmas. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so I think that's probably my favorite part of Christmas, which sounds kind of dumb now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, I obviously like, you know, how people are so nice to each other and all that kind of stuff, but mostly I like the lights. <laughs> okay, um, how do I celebrate Christmas? Well, ever since I can remember, which is a long time ago, um, we always had Christmas Eve at my grandma's house with my mom's side of the family, and then we would spend Christmas Day with my dad's side of the family. Um, but when my parents got divorced, um, which was when I was in third grade, I think, yeah. Um, we, well, for a long time, we used to go to a movie together, the four of us, so me and my brother and my mom and my dad, on Christmas Day, and we don't do that anymore, which I really miss, like, to be honest. I really miss that we don't do anything together anymore. Um, anyway, but I just got back because it is Christmas, well it's Christmas morning but it's Christmas Eve. Um, for the past five years we've had Christmas Eve at my house here um, because my grandma doesn't like cleaning up and stuff. But this year we got to have it at her house and it was just so much nicer because my mom wasn't stressed out. and. It was great. So then usually what my brother and I would do is tomorrow or today morning, Christmas morning, we would go over to my dad's house and open presents. And then I'm going to see if I know it. Okay. Um, then we would go down to Chicago to my aunt's house and have Christmas there with my dad's side of the family. But there's like this Christmas feud thing going on in my family, and so we're not going down to Chicago this year, which is going to be really, really strange for me. Um, so I don't really know how tomorrow or today is going to go, but mm, it's Christmas. Um, I just got back from church, and I'm not a very religious person, which I don't know if I have mentioned or have not mentioned, but... I don't, it's not that I don't believe in God, but I'm not really sure what I believe in. But I always go to church on Christmas Eve because it means a lot to my mom, and I really like singing with my brother and that kind of stuff. Um, so I went, and in the sermon, my pastor said that the first Christmas was far beyond perfect. Or far from perfect. There we go. Um, yeah, so... I thought it was really cool. Sorry guys, I can hear noises in my door. Um, anyway, but, and then the last thing he said was that, um, wherever there is a human being, there is the opportunity for kindness. And that really, that really hit me because, I mean, I feel like so many things that the four of us have in common are opportunities like that, like Star Kid and Glee and theater and like just all the stuff that we love. You know, it's the people that are part of that 